So in this video, I'm going to describe what you need to do in your demagoguery analysis essay. This is your first essay, and in any analysis essay, I'm going to be looking primarily for three things. One is that you understand the text. This is the uh, Bilbo chapter um, in your case, so that you just understand the content of what he's arguing. Um, the other, the second thing that's very important is that you correctly understand you the terms for analysis that you use. And you can pick which ones you use. I think I suggest three to five um, in the assignment prompt. And read that prompt, um, read it carefully and thoroughly, um, so that you uh, deploy those terms and you use them in the correct ways. And the last thing I'm looking for is that you use textual evidence well, skillfully is what I mean, on the level of graduate writing. Um, so incorporating quotations appropriately, paraphrasing them to show that you understand the content. Um, if you are not sure you're doing that well, go back and read your uh, my responses to your reading questions so far. If you haven't been doing it um, the way I would like to see in your papers, I've made comments that you are not paraphrasing enough, that you are paraphrasing too much, that you need to include more quotations. Um, so I've tried to do that in your reading questions to prepare you for what I'm looking for uh, in your paper. You will have a peer review for this paper, as it says on the assignment sheet on the 30th of September, and I'll have to explain how that's going to work in a later video, but um, just try to develop a, a substantial draft of your paper um, by the 30th, and then you will have a week to incorporate the feedback from your peers into the draft that you turn into me on October 7th. All right, under um, Starting with module four, I think I've posted a sample analysis essay. So it's one from this class last year, but it's about a book that we are not reading, Fanatical Schemes. Um, it just shows you the level of graduate writing that I'm looking for, what I consider to be graduate uh, writing, um, how this person uses textual evidence, uh, sort of the tone of the essay. Um, so take a look at that as an example. You do not have to copy the organization. You do not have to copy how this person, um, the voice that they write in. But uh, some of you are coming back to graduate work after a while. Some of you are just getting, just moving in, just moving from undergraduate to graduate uh, levels. So I wanted to give you an idea of um, the kind of writing I'm looking for. So that is posted for you. Um, let's see. So that's mostly what I have to say about the paper. Um, like I said, read the prompt carefully. I am serious about the word count. It is narrow, but I need you to practice um, having enough to say, but also being concise enough to say it uh, within 850 words. So I will be counting. Um, that is more difficult for some of you than others, uh, but it's good practice to be concise and to know um, how much description to give and when to um, when to wrap it up and move on to the next point. After this paper, the next three projects that are due will be part of what I'm going to call your case study project or your final project, your course project. Um, all those terms will apply because you're going to pick your own text. Um, the Bilbo uh, chapter is one that I'm supplying for you, and you don't have to do any reading or research outside of that in demagoguery and democracy. But the other ones, you will start with an annotated bibliography that is um, some peer-reviewed, but also not peer-reviewed, texts, uh, te texts about a text that you want to analyze for demagoguery. I'll go in into this more in other videos uh, or show you videos that I recorded last year, but your, um, what I'm referring to as your case study is your annotated bibliography, your presentation to the class, and your final essay. I think that's what I call it. Um, or your, your 
course project essay. Um, so those will be about a text that you find that you want to analyze in the way that you're analyzing this Bilbo case study. Plus, you'll have at your um, at your fingertips for tools to uh, you'll have other terms from the other theoretical texts that we're reading, um, and we'll do more analysis of really fun things like Hitler speeches. So, this is a standalone essay. Others uh, that you'll write in in the future will be all related to each other to your project. Um, I believe that is all I need to tell you right now. Um, if you have questions about the demagoguery analysis essay, um, after you've read the prompt carefully, um, please message me and, as soon as you can and so I can get you on the right path. Um, and again, I will describe how the peer review process is going to work in another video. So good luck to you and let me know if you have any questions.